اهلا بكم طالبات وطلاب جريد 1 بريب برحب بكم في حلقه جديده واول مراجعه لينا في الماث تحت رعايه واشراف وزاره التربيه والتعليم تو بي ريدي ان شاء الله فور ذا تيست سو سو ليتس ستارت جيومتري ريفيو كويشن 1 كومبليت ايتش اوف ذا فولوينج نمبر 1 بيربنديكولار باي سيكتور اوف اللاين سيجمنت از كولد Of course, it's a symmetry, so it's axis of symmetry because it's a perpendicular bisector. So we are going to divide the line segment to two equal parts with perpendicular line. So the correct answer is axis of symmetry. Number two, here we have figure and we have triangle, so let's do it on the board to be clear for all of you. We answered number one right now. Now we have question two. In the opposite figure, if triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ and the measurement of angle A plus the measurement of angle B equals 140. So this one plus this one is 140. Find the measurement of angle Z. I need this one. So here we have the sum of any or the sum of the three angles of any triangle is 180. So how can we find the missing angle which is Z? We are going to subtract 140 from 180 to get the missing one which is 40 degrees. So C is 40 degrees. Which one is equal to it or congruent to it? Take them in order. A is with X, then B with Y, and C is congruent with Z. So the measurement of angle Z is equal to 40 degrees. Number three, if the measurement of angle B 105, then the measurement of reflex angle B equals what? So as you know, the reflex angle is greater than 180 and less than 360. So I need to subtract 105 from 360 to get the reflex one. So here we need to regroup. It will be 10 and here's uh, 5. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 0 is 5. 3 minus 1 is 2. So the reflex angle is 255 degrees. Next. Number four, in the opposite figure, if ray M B intersects straight line A C with point M, and the measurement of angle A, here we have this one, A M B is 60. Then the value of x is what? As you can see here, we have a supplementary angles. Both of them, the sum is 180. So I need to add 60 plus 3x to give us 180. This is a missing number. Ignore x now. 60 plus what is 180? So here we have 180 minus 60 equals 120. So 3x equals 120. I need to divide by 3 here because the relationship between 3 and the x is multiplication. So divide by 3 both sides. So x is 40 degrees. Here is the correct answer. Number five, the two right angle triangles are congruent if we have two conditions. What are they? The first one, the hypotenuse and the aside of a triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts on the other triangle. So the hypotenuse and aside from one triangle. Okay, then question two, choose the correct answer from the those given. If angle 
x congruent to angle y and angle x and angle y are supplementary angles then the measurement of angle x equals what what does supplementary means supplementary means the sum is 180 so they are congruent that means they are equal in measure so what plus what is 180 and we have to add the same number of course 90 because 90 plus 90 is 180 from this condition they are congruent so they are equal in measure then number two in the opposite figure AF the straight line AF is parallel to a line segment DE as you can see here we have DE then parallel to CB they are all parallel to each other and AB is equal to AB here we have sorry AE is equal to EC here we have two dashes in both okay so then AD to AB is equal what I need to a ratio now I need a ratio so here we have if they are equal here so the other are equal also this one is equal to this one which is AD equals to DB but the question asked me about AD as a whole here we have AD just AD to all AB AB so AD is half from a B so it's 1 to 2 the correct answer is 1 to 2 and as I said here they are equal so if this one for example 2 so this one is 2 4 and the 4 3 and 3 so here 3 to all of it will be 6 3 to 6 which is 1 to 2 then the two straight lines that are perpendicular to a third then the two straight lines are and we have choices imagine that with me here we have two straight lines are perpendicular on a third one this is the third one and we have two perpendicular perpendicular means what they are standing on it and they are making 90 degrees with the third one so I'm talking about the black lines now what do you observe they are what they are parallel to each other so the correct answer is parallel then the measure of each two equal complementary angles equal what so complementary means the sum is 90 degrees and here we have a condition they are equal to equal angles so each one of them is 45 because 45 plus 45 is 90 degrees or 90 divided by 2 which is 45 number 5 if two straight lines intersect then each two la 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 angles have the same measure okay I'm gonna draw any intersecting line here we have intersection lines then What do we have now? Which kind of angles do we have? As you can see, we have letter X, so vertically opposite angles, vertically to right, left, or up and down. Okay, then number six, if a triangle ABC is congruent to triangle LMN, then the measurement of ACB is equal to the measurement of which angle of them? Have a look here at the order of the angle. I start triangle ABC, but when I write the measurement of angle ACB first, then the last one ACB. I'm going to do the same exactly in the second triangle. So here without, even without drawing, okay? So I'm going to take the first as it is, and then the last which is N, 
then the middle one l n m which one l n m here it is this one l n or draw them and make it you will get the same answer of course so a b c is congruent here uh, tri two triangles so the measurement of angle a c b is equal to the measurement of angle l n m number three in the opposite figure the measurement of angle b a d b a d is equal to the measurement of angle b c d b c d equals 90 and here we have the right corner for the 90 degrees then a b is equal to c b here 5 and here 5 and also a d is 3 centimeters here we have 3 centimeters the question is mention the conditions for triangle ABD and triangle CBD to be congruent and define the length of CD. I need this one. Let's do it here with different color. CD. I need this side. So as you can see here we have right triangle and to be congruent the two right triangles we have two conditions the hypotenuse and it's already common between the two triangles. Let's make it with black. This is the hypotenuse. How do we know? It's opposite to the right angle for A and also it's opposite to the right angle C. Okay, so the hypotenuse is common. The hypotenuse is congruent. Then we have another side which is five here and five here, AB and BC. Immediately the third will be congruent so DC is three centimeters next in the opposite figure the straight line AF is parallel to the line segment DE parallel to the line segment XY parallel to the line segment BC this is the condition then we have another uh, another thing AD is equal to DX is equal to XD from the dashes here they are all equal then AC is 9 all of it here from A to C is 9 find the length of AY I need this AY this side only. Let's make it bold. I need this one. A, Y. And give reason. Here we have 9 for all of it. So each one of them is 3. I'm going to clear it. Here we have also 3. Here 3. And here 3. And here 3. So the question asked me about which one? A, Y. So A, Y here because of the parallel lines. A, Y is 3 plus 3 which is 6. So A, Y, the length of A, Y equals 6 centimeters. Question 4. In the opposite figure, we have A, B is parallel to CD parallel to EF. They are all parallel. This one and this one and this one. Then the measurement of angle A is given, which is 45. Here it is, 45. Then the measurement of angle E is 130. It's okay. Now the question is about find the measurement of angle ACE. Here it is. Let's make it with different color. I need this one. A, C, E. I need this one. How can we find it? I'm going to use the relation between angles. Okay. As you can see here, we have letter Z. I have a transversal. Here, this one. This is my transversal. 
and they are parallel. And we have letter Z, here 45, and here this one also is 45 degrees. So, this angle which is A, C, D equals 45 degrees. Then we have also another condition. Let's make it with red. Here we have two parallel lines and one is above it and the other one is under it. Which relation of the angles we can use it here? Both of them are interior angles. So this one is 50. How do we know it? The interior angles are supplementary. So 130 plus what is 180 or 180 minus 130, which is 50. So I use two relationships between the angles. Now I'm going to add 45 plus 50. So 45 and 50. So 5 and 9 degrees. So the measurement of angle A, C, E is sorry, here, yes, add them here, degrees only, 95 degrees, yes, correct. Then, question four, B, in the opposite figure, the measurement of angle A, M, D is 110, it's given, and the measurement of angle A, M, D is 90 degrees, because of the right corner here. Okay, then, the measurement of angle D, M, C is 40. Find the measurement of angle B, M, C. I need this one. This one. How can we need it? How can we get it? Sorry. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a cumulative angles at point. All of them are meeting at point M. So the sum of them is 360. So I'm going to add the three angles, then subtract from 360. 110 plus 90 plus 40. Here, 0 and 4. Then carry one up, 240. Add them. Then I'm going to take this number and subtract it from 360. 200. minus 240, which is 0 to 1. So the measurement of it, 120 degrees. Next, question 5. In the opposite figure, we have line segment AD intersects line segment BC at point M. Then, BM is equal to MC and AM is equal to MD. Write conditions for triangle AMB congruent to triangle DMC to be congruent. Okay. What do you observe here? What do we have? Which kind or which type of the relationships between the angles? They are making letter X, so vertically opposite angles. Okay. So this angle, which is AMB, is congruent or equal in measure with CMD. Okay, which condition do we have now? Side, angle, side. One more time with black. Side, then angle, then side. Side, angle, side. So the condition is side, angle, side. Take the first letter from each word. That's all about today's review. Thank you so much. I hope it was clear for every you, for every one of you. Good luck in your exam. Bye bye. See you.